In today's funny story joke, we find Cinderella rocking a life way past her prime with wishes wilder than a bachelorette party in Vegas and a cat with more side eye than a disapproving grandma. Get ready to laugh because this fairy godmother throws a curveball that'll leave you snorting like a startled pug. Cinderella, at a sprightly 75, wasn't exactly rocking the ball scene anymore. In her rocking chair, that is. Perched on her porch, with her ever-judgmental cat Alan as company, she surveyed the world with the wisdom of a woman who'd seen it all. From pumpkin carriages to snoring princes, let's not forget the snoring, life with the dearly departed prince had been an adventure. Deep down, though, a tiny part of her couldn't help but wonder what it would have been like to have a partner who was, well, perfect. Someone who shared her love of cozy evenings and never left the toilet seat up. One fine afternoon, brighter than a rogue disco ball in a retirement home, the fairy godmother shimmered into existence. Alan, ever the fan of personal space, arched his back like a furry question mark. Cinderella. The fairy godmother boomed, her voice still packing the same theatrical punch. After a life well lived, you deserve a little something extra. Three wishes, to be precise. Cinderella blinked. Three wishes at 75? Now that was a retirement plan she hadn't considered. Well... She began, stroking her chin thoughtfully. Money would be nice. Like, obscenely nice. Poof! Her rocking chair transformed into a solid gold monstrosity. Alan, ever practical, let out a yowl that could rival a fire alarm and bolted to the edge of the porch, his claws digging frantic furrows into the wood. Oh, thank you ever so much. Cinderella squeaked, perched precariously on the now uncomfortably warm gold. No worries, dearie. Onwards to wish number two. What's your heart's deepest desire? The fairy godmother chirped. Cinderella gazed down at her creaky knees and sighed. Youth, I suppose. A touch of the old razzle-dazzle wouldn't hurt. In a flash of sparkles, Cinderella was back to her youthful self. Wrinkles vanished, replaced by a dewy glow that could launch a thousand tabloids. A forgotten flutter stirred in her chest, a long dormant yearning for something beyond bingo nights. Excellent choice. One wish left. Don't hold back. The fairy godmother beamed. Cinderella glanced at Alan, who was now sporting the kind of deer-in-headlights expression that only comes with facing a magical makeover. Alan, her loyal companion since kittenhood, had always been there. Through thick and thin, through snoring princes and endless cups of chamomile tea, he'd been a constant source of purrs and non-judgmental companionship. Maybe, she thought, the perfect partner wasn't someone flawless, but someone who knew you, flaws and all, and loved you anyway. But the yearning for that what if was still there. Make Alan here. She declared, the words tumbling out before she could stop them. A handsome young man, a real looker. Alan let out a pathetic meow, his fur puffing out in protest. But wishes are wishes, and with a snap of the fairy godmother's diamond-encrusted fingers, Alan transformed. He stood tall, a vision of sculpted perfection, with eyes that could melt glaciers and a smile brighter than a dentist's convention. Birds, overcome by sheer handsomeness, began plummeting from the sky like feathered confetti. There you go, Cinderella. The fairy godmother cackled with delight before vanishing in a puff of glitter that smelled suspiciously like mothballs. For a beat, silence reigned. Then, Alan and a very youthful Cinderella stared at each other, the air thick with unspoken, well, everything. Cinderella, breathless, took in the masterpiece before her, every rom-com cliché embodied in one perfectly sculpted human being. Alan, for his part, looked like he was about to faint, or maybe file a lawsuit. He sauntered over, his every step oozing an aura of misplaced confidence. Cinderella, still frozen on her golden throne, found herself unable to tear her gaze away. Leaning in close, Alan whispered into her ear, his voice a husky purr. You know, Cinderella, he murmured, his breath tickling her newly youthful cheek. I bet you're regretting that whole neutering thing. Right about. 
now. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.